Greetings friends! Welcome back to my channel, Fit to Love Me with Love Fuller. I am here with a, a tag video. First let me just tell you that I already filmed this tag video in a different format and that was while I was doing a mukbang. If you are not familiar with mukbang, mukbang is um, where, we're, where we're sitting down and we're eating together. So if you want to sit down and have a meal with me and get to know the answer to my my tag questions, watch that mukbang video. I'll link it here. If you want to, if you don't want to see me eating, if you're like, please, I do not want to see you eating while you're answering these questions, watch this video. Now I did not have my 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 answers pre prepared, but since I just filmed that video, I suppose that I will remember them. So let's see. So the tag that I am doing is the interview tag and I was tagged by Transforming Melody. The tag was created by Miss K all the way and Melody tagged me back uh, in March 2016. Okay I did make this video before you can see the date on there. I did make this video before but I never posted it so <laughs> I figured that while I was while I was doing my mukbang, it would be a good idea to do the tag because that gives me something to talk about. Like, what am I going to converse with my with my guests, my my dinner guests, or my lunch guests, or my breakfast guests? What am I going to converse with them about? So I thought of, uh, about doing a tag. I <clears throat> so funny because I thought, oh, I don't, I don't, I didn't, you know, I was trying to, I was thinking of trying to do the get to know me tag, but I couldn't find it. I um, said, okay, let me just look up what kind of tags. I actually looked up what kind of tags uh, Weight Watchers with Heather did because she has done lots of tags. And this tag came up, right? And I was like, oh, okay, the interview tag. Let me see about doing that. And then I was like, oh my gosh, Melody tagged me in it. But I'd already done it before. But again, at the first the first time I did it, I just did it impromptu. And the second time I just did it a few minutes ago, I did it impromptu. So I didn't have any answers planned. I'm going to just try and say the same answers that I said before so that you don't have to watch both videos. And, and at the end, I'll let you know if I did say the same answers or not, okay? 20 questions. First, how did it feel to make your first video? Well, my first video was made on my other channel. It's called Cutting Edge Couponers, and that's the channel where I do, uh, I showed my extreme couponing hauls. So, the first video I ever made over there, I had myself in the video. I don't remember. I think I felt fine making the video. I mean, I don't remember, like, maybe it's new like the setup or whatever it was I think I felt fine making the video I'm not sure like I don't remember having any like oh my gosh like anxiety around making videos I told you in another thing before that I had always like I had been like on morning announcements growing up and stuff like that so it didn't feel weird weird for me to be in front of the camera but I think I felt fine but maybe the fact that I didn't put, keep myself like after that first video which I took down I didn't show myself in the videos maybe there was some reason so maybe I didn't feel fine I don't know by the time I came to this channel, when I made this, when um, by the time I came to this channel, I felt fine making videos because I was used to making videos. I think putting myself on camera might have been a little bit weird, but I just knew that that was missing. Like it's missing. Like how are you gonna make videos like where you're never on the camera? It's just I know with couponing, it's not that odd, or it wasn't that odd at the time to not put yourself on the camera, but I just you know doing weight loss, obviously you have to show yourself, and I. I know that I was nervous about declaring that I was going to be doing Weight Watchers to the world. That I was nervous about because I didn't know myself. Because, you know, some people will make their videos once they're already, like, have lost weight. I hadn't lost any weight. I was, like, just starting Weight Watchers, you know, for the umpteenth time, you know, like, that day or whatever. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm going to be, like, pu failing publicly. So, there's that. Did you show anyone your first video before you uploaded it? I probably showed my daughter. On the other channel. On this channel, I think I didn't show anyone. Do your family and friends know about your channel? Um, for, the, for the most part, the answer is no. Some people, I recently started telling people, like I've told my prayer partners about it. But other than that, other than those, my prayer partners and then one person from, from, um, from Kuwait who found my channel because I followed her on Pinterest. Other than that, the people don't really know about my channel. I mean, I've told like some of these, some people, like people like friends like that exist, but they, they don't really know like 
I don't think they follow it. I don't know. Most people don't know about it. And my family members know. Only my husband and my daughter know about it for sure. That I know of. Are any of your family and friends subscribed to your channel? So I am doing a 100 day challenge with uh, my daughter Allie. She's Allie Kingdom. A-L-I-E Kingdom on YouTube. And of course she subscribed to my channel. My husband is subscribed to my channel. My I was thinking about the 100 day challenge because Allie's doing it. And I'm doing it with one of my prayer partners, Alana. She has a channel, a new channel. It's called Taking Ames. Um, the, her, the, their, that's her last name, A-M-E-S. She has a channel with her husband. It's a family vlog channel. So check them out, Taking Ames. They're awesome. So they know about it. Our other prayer partner, which is my, who is my closest friend, um, she knows about it and she's subscribed. I don't think that, I don't think that, I know that like Alana and, and Mark are really busy, like, doing their life and also doing the 100 day challenge so I don't think that they really watch very much um I don't think that um my friend other prayer partner watches I don't think they really watch um I do know that my friend um Kay from from Kuwait was watching for a while I'm not sure if she's still watching ba -ba -ba -bum. okay and okay did anyone think you were crazy for being a youtuber so on my other one I talk about like I mentioned my dad and in the comments that he had to make about my couponing channel so I don't want this video to get too long I don't think that he thought I was crazy but um so that was the closest thing like whatever he said you know I don't feel like getting into it because we had to, for sake of time um that and I do want to know though do you think that if, if you think we're crazy for being youtubers if I mean I know you watch youtube but just because you watch youtube doesn't mean that you think that that it, it's like not crazy to just put your life out there or your ideas or thoughts out there or whatever what do you think um no one has told me in real life that they think I'm crazy for being a youtuber but then like I said most people don't know that I'm a youtuber so there's that why how and why did you choose your youtube channel name I changed I chose my youtube channel name because my um my maiden initials are me my first name is Maya and my and my maiden initials are me and so fit and and i knew i was i wanted to make like a short kind of a short kind of i don't know what it's called like a a handle or what is it called like when you have like a little like a like a your login name or whatever that little name is thing you know i wanted it to be short enough to just be able to type in easily and um so that's why i made made it and i know this is about like me getting fit and it's me getting fit so I can love myself. So it's like this idea of fit my body, mind, and spirit. So I can love myself. Um, fit body, mind, and soul, I should say, because I'm sure my spirit spirits are fit, <laughs> right? Already, there they have they come with everything that we need. Um, and and then, but if we believe that our soul is on a journey, then then let me make sure my soul is good. You know, I'm feeding my soul soul well. So fit to love me. Fit getting fit to love me. So me, the regular word M E with with little letters, um, but then M E or my middle my maiden initial, so fit to love me, right? And what have you gained from being a YouTuber? What I have gained from being a YouTuber is that I really enjoy YouTube. I have always been a person, like I mentioned in the video before, I'm not sure if I already said that in this video, sorry, that I when I was growing up, I was I was always like on the morning announcements. So, um, middle school, I mean, elementary, middle, and high school, I was that person on the announcements. And, um, you know, I was in TV production class. Uh, shout out to Mr. Bernard, even though he's not watching because nobody knows I have this channel. Most people don't know I have that chan this channel. Um, what have you gained from being a YouTuber? Let me answer the question. What I've gained from being a YouTuber is I have fun do doing YouTube and I have gained the fact that I've met... Um, lots of people on YouTube, uh, you know, gain relationships. I have fun doing it. I've gained relationships. I feel like it makes me be creative. So I like that. I just like, I just love YouTube. I love watching YouTube. Like I watch YouTube instead of watching TV. Not that I never watch TV, but I very rarely watch TV. I'm always on my computer and YouTube is my number one thing. I love YouTube. I love YouTube for like, don't even get me started for everything. Because you can, like, research, like, get real information off of YouTube. You want to learn how to do something? YouTube it. Like, forget about Google it. YouTube it. Because, I mean, even though I Google it, I'm going to look up videos because I love to learn that, that way. Okay, so here we go.
are you interested in doing giveaways yes I'm interested in doing giveaways I announced on the other one that I guess I'm going to be doing a 2,000 subscriber giveaway and but I'll talk to you uh, on the other video I talked about why I didn't do I haven't done any before so you can go over there and check it out if you don't mind do you allow subscribers to send you gifts I don't have a PO box set up if you're interested in sending me gifts for some reason let me know and I'll open a PO box I guess um, how do your kids feel about him or her being on YouTube? I, she, or about me being on YouTube, she doesn't care about me being on YouTube. She's fine with being on YouTube also. She has her own channel, but she does, of course, doesn't want me to put her on video when she's not looking the way she wants to look. So, of course. Um, how do you choose your topics? My, based on interests, I think, and also based on, like, with, with weight, with, with Weight Watchers, I'm, there are specific things that you're interested in. You're interested in what I'm eating. You're interested in and um, um, you know how many points my food are, and you're interested in like if I've lost weight. Those other things that I do, I post them because I'm interested in. I'm interested in like I, I travel. I'm interested in travel. I like vlogs, so that's why I vlog. I um, I like mukbang videos, so I like to eat and I like to talk, so eating and talking is perfect for me. That's why I post mukbang videos. I like, um, the, I love the law of attraction. I love that whole concept of the law of attraction. It's like the same way, same way like you have like a law of gravity or a law of, law of physics, laws of physics that people have like tapped into to like do cool things with, like fly airplanes, you know, based on a lot of physics and, you know, interacting with the law of gravity and all that kind of stuff. I feel like there's, it's so cool about what we can create using the law of attraction. So I love that. Would you consider collaborating with, collaborating with others to make videos? Yes, I would consider. I like, I love talk, I love people. I love talking with people. I love interacting with people. I love collabs. Like I used to be a teacher and I actually did team teaching uh, I had three different teachers that I did team teaching with and I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. I love team teaching because I feel like, you know, you're, you get more out of what you're doing. And I think those channels who have like, like who are in teams, I feel like they do so well because you have like Fit and Fabulous Mamas, Motivated Muffins, um, our fat release, they just started like a husband and wife team, which I think is awesome. And who else? Um... There's another team. Oh, the the twins. And it's just so cool how they they play off of each other. So yeah, I love that, and I would love. I wish I had like a partner. Like I've always been looking for a like the whole motivated muffins. Their whole idea of like interviewing people and talking with that. Like trust me, believe me. Natalie, the one two dime can tell you. I've had that idea for so long, but I just needed to have like a co-host. You know what I'm saying? And so I think it's an awesome idea. So love it, love it, love it. See, I feel like it's like, I always have this idea of the view. I've been telling my friends this for years. Like, let's do this. As a matter of fact, Alana and I said we we're going to do that about the law of attraction. But um, from taking aim. So we'll see if we have time to do that. If we ever have time to do that, we'll see. Um, Yeah, I love the idea of like the whole view thing. Because you get other persons, uh, people's personalities there. And I just like that. I think that's really cool. But I think you have to have like a good relationship with the people that you're working with. Because, you know, working with someone is just like living with them. You have to be close with them okay um so definitely if you're if you if you want to and i did i've done several several collabs i will link them i guess a while along the way while i'm talking about collabs maybe or link them below um but yeah if you're interested in doing a collab with me holla at your girl because i'm interested i love collabs i think that's cool um other than makeup and fashion, what do you like to watch on YouTube? I don't watch makeup and fashion. I what I like to watch on YouTube is mukbang, mukbang, mukbang. That's what I just did, right? I just did a mukbang on the other video, which is watching people eat. I just I just found that, but it's weird. I don't know why I would like that, but I, I've been interested in that. I watched couponing because I was I was a couponer. Um, and whatever else I said I watched, I can't remember. It's on the other video. Okay, uh, 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 have you ever uploaded the wrong video? I have, like, I remember uploading, like, a, I can't remember what it was, like, just, like, I didn't mean to, like, make it public, it was, like, a piece of the whole thing. Which do you prefer, filming alone or with others? I have never really filmed with others other than with Ali, and it's all good to me. I, I, I like it as a vlogger like if you're doing vlogs you it's good if you have other people in your video so i like filming with uh, with others that's not that i have a pre preference though but i do like both um 
I mean, for a vlog, I prefer to have other people in the vlog. So I guess that's a preference. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, you don't have to give names, but are there any YouTubers that just irk you? If so, what about them irks you? I don't have any YouTubers that I can think of that irk me. I, what, does, what does irk me is when people hold their camera this in this direction. When they're like... When they're filming themselves they hold the camera in this direction and you have all those big black bars around them so it's like you can see them like literally you see about this much of them on the on in the in your viewfinder and then i mean on your camera on your screen and then you see all the rest is black that drives me insane like seriously i don't like that at all like i seriously like literally don't want to watch your videos like if there's somebody that i know or that i really like or something i really want to watch but otherwise it bothers me like if i wanted to watch a black screen and this is 2013, like why are we, This looks. it looks like it's you're in the 19, 1990s or something or 1980s or whatever it is. Like you're seeing like all that black outside of there. Like seriously, if you don't want us to see you, don't fit, don't, don't, <laughs> don't shoot a video. As you can see, it does irk me. Now, I don't think that people do that on purpose. I think that they don't know that they're, um, that if they turn it this way that you don't have to see those black bars. I think that maybe they don't watch it back or when they watch it back they don't see that the, the black bars. I think that there are reasons why they have those black bars there. Like like I think that have to do with not knowing or not remembering to turn their camera that way. Because whatever reason I guess people are used to filming themselves this way with the, with the things this way. I think they don't know or taking pictures, selfies this way. I think you know what I'm saying. It's like a habit. And I think that if they do it on purpose and they just don't want us to see then, it, then let me know and then... I you know I might I might not watch you know what I'm saying like it's just annoying to me so because it's like if you have stuff in your background that you don't want you to yourself to see like us to see psh, turn your turn like psh, shoot on the wall or something like that like I just don't want to see black bars it just annoys me I know yes I get annoyed <laughs> can you believe it um, so that irks me. What is some general advice you would give someone wanting to start a channel? I don't really don't have any advice other than just just do it, go for it. Um, and I would say also ask a successful YouTuber like uh, what advice they have. Have you thought about transitioning from YouTube to your own website? I have um, because anything can happen with YouTube. YouTube owns YouTube, right? YouTube owns YouTube. So if any if they decide that they want to take all my videos down at any time, if they decide they want to just shut down my channel they will if they decide they want to go out of business or they want to sell their business or they want to do whatever they can take my videos down at any time and then all that stuff will be lost so i'm reminding myself yet again as i did in the other video that i probably do want to just um start a website so that i can at least have my videos um have my videos logged did i mess up my eyebrows like i did in melody's video <laughs> um Okay, so I'm a 19. What are 19 out of 20? What are some opportunities that have have you have gotten because of YouTube? I have got had the opportunity to meet some some um, some of these uh, vloggers, some YouTubers in real life, and that was has been great. And I list the people over there in the other video, and I say how great it you know like you know I've had that opportunity. So that's been awesome. I've also had the opportunity to have like kind of like chat chat with people or have like kind of relationships with people like offline you know like um or just like kind of develop some really kind of relationships with my subscribers kind of thing so um that is the those are the opportunities i've i've had from from because of youtube um actually i was contacted by a um by a talent like a casting director and they said that they had identified me off of from my Instagram and they and they wanted to know if I wanted to um, audition for a Weight Watchers commercial so that was an opportunity the last one is when you first started how did you get the word out I didn't I just posted that was it bomb so I know this video is probably gonna be a million a million uh, years long I'm going to link all the people below that I have tagged I tagged I tagged them in the other video so uh, check that out I hope this video is worthwhile worth watching thank you so much for tagging me Melody thank you so much for for creating the tag Miss K all the way I don't think that um, Kirsten is watching my channel uh, but Melody might be so hey girl hey <laughs> but um yes but thanks for the tags ladies so yeah i'm tagging all oh i forgot to say in the other video that i 
if you have not made this video and you're interested in making this video and you make YouTube videos or whatever, I tag you along with all this long list of people that I have that I'm tagging. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please let me know the answer to the questions that I asked you along the way. Um, I'm really interested in those the answers to those questions or else I wouldn't ask. I'm not just asking for the sake of asking. And if you um, also have any other comments about uh, what I had to say, please leave that below. Also, I am thinking about doing a, since for my mukbangs, or I guess maybe not for my mukbangs also, because you're my non-mukbang people, I'm in, I'm thinking about doing, well, for my mukbangs, I was thinking about doing a question, like, because you have to, I have to talk about something on my mukbang. So if you're, if you're, if you have any questions for me, just let me know, just let me know so I could answer them i am love my channel is fit to love me with love fuller and everything i do can be found in the description box below thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time mwah, mwah, mwah. ciao friends